James is starting off this hour in Pecos, Texas. Hi, James. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I just started listening to you here recently by chance because, well, it's the only radio station I get out here. <laughs> <laughs> You're stuck with me, brother. <laughs> <laughs> so every day I've, I've, I've got you on the radio. Uh, I guess my question is, is uh, I make about 140000 a year. I currently have $91,000 worth of debt, uh, but I really, really, really need to replace my house. You know, where do I start to to, to pay off to be able to achieve the goal of, of, of getting the house? The catch is, is 50000 of that debt is my land, which is a part of my inheritance. I don't have to pay that immediately. That can be paid at any time. What's the other forty? Uh an RV and two trucks. Mm. And what's what's the, the, RV what's... I, the RV I use for work? So I have to have it. How do you use an RV for work? I I live wherever I work. My company pays me to use my own my own housing. I just move it wherever I work. Gotcha. Okay. And so um, you're married then? Yes, sir. Okay. And what's the emergency on your house? Uh, my current house is just, I mean, it's falling apart. It's a three-bedroom. I've got four kids. It's too old. Uh, I'm constantly having to fix broken pipes and walls and door jams, and okay. it's just, it's, it needs to go. It's gotcha. a single-wide trailer house. And oh, okay. I really need a double-wide. Okay. Um, well, let's start with this. Uh, you, you're not wise to invest in mobile homes because they go down in value. None of them go up in value, so no, you don't need a double wide. Is this land? Is this on the land that you inherited, the family land? Yes. Okay. So what we need to do is start working towards you building a home. That's what we need to do. You make one hundred forty thousand dollars a year. Let's build a house. Okay. And um, yes, just get rid of the junky single wide. All right. Um, because that double wide, you pay seventy for it, and in five years, it's worth nothing. Right. Right. Yeah, we don't. It's going the wrong way, dude. I want to go up, not down. So, and the house will go up in value. So, and of course, you're probably not in the market to sell any of this stuff anyway, with it being on family land. But either way, oh, the no, land is in your name, right? Forever. I'm sorry. I said it'll stay in the family forever. Yeah. So the land is in your name, though, right? Yes. Okay. This this particular portion of the land. All right. Good. All right. Well, here, here's the thing. The uh, first thing is that you jump on every dollar and uh, download the app. Your wife does the same thing. I'm going to put you into what we call Financial Peace University. I'm going to pay for it. Okay, It's $129 to go through the class, but I'm going to give it to you. And you both can watch the videos, even if you're separated from her by work, because the whole thing's online and or... Where is the home? Where's the family property where she lives? Uh, it's in Fort Worth. Good. 400 miles away. Good. Okay. Well, she also can attend the classes. Uh, I don't know if there'll be one near you, uh, the way you're describing where you are, but th- there's about twelve or 13,000 of the classes operating in churches out there. So she can attend the classes, too, but you both can follow along and both be doing the lessons at the same time because it's totally online. All right, I'm going to give that to you, and so is the Every Dollar app. Now, that means the two of you are both working your budgets together, even though you're separated by several hundred miles, okay? A lot of military families do this when someone is deployed, in other words. So we're used to doing this with couples that are living like you guys are. Now, once we're doing all of that, we've got every dollar behaving in a certain way. Then the only question is, what is the best order to do things? What's first, what's second, to hit your goals? Okay, a hundred and forty thousand dollars a year, ninety thousand dollars, but fifty of it is the land. Okay, correct. And um, <clears throat> so, what I would do is look at selling the forty. Uh, one, how how much do you owe on your truck? Uh, my truck that I use for work is I owe twenty five thousand, and then my wife's truck I owe six thousand. Okay. All right. So you have a twenty-five thousand dollars truck that you got out in the workplace destroying it. Jeez, man. Okay, that probably needs to be downgraded to about a six thousand dollars truck too. And then you're living in the RV. So we're going to list all your debts, not counting the farm, forty thousand dollars. 
Uh, when you look at 140 versus 40, I'm saying you're paying all this off, not counting the farm, in, not, in, in probably a year. But you're going to be on beans and rice, rice and beans, and uh, so's the family back home. And we're, we have this goal of getting all these trucks and RVs paid off. Because if you had no payments except the land, you'd be in shape to go get a construction loan that would pay off the land and build you a house. Okay. That's that's about a year and a half, two years away with what I'm talking about. And the family just lives the way they've been living in the meantime or worse. And we get out of debt. You do whatever it takes to clear all these debts because that sets you up. Because, man, think about it. If you had no payments, you'd have money. Right. Well, I just started this new job. Prior to that, we were okay. seriously paycheck to paycheck. So yeah. I just this new opportunity here. Good. I'm hoping there's an opportunity to get this stuff paid off. There you go. And and that's not going to happen accidentally. It's going to be with a detailed plan of attack. What do you do? I, I work out in the you know, out in the West Texas oil fields. What do you do? I I do flowback. Okay. And that and that's very detailed with an exact game plan to create an exact reaction, an exact result that you want. You don't do this. It, you don't. You don't pull off your job accidentally, right? Right. It's cause and effect, and that's what this thing I'm talking about is. You're going to crank down to nothing on the expenses, and you're going to keep making. You cranked up your income, and that what that's what sparked the conversation. And we're going to clean up this dadgum mess. And then, you know, get a plan drawn to build a house and get a builder lined up and start talking about building a nice home on this. Um, and that pays off the 50000 inside that construction loan as well. And so then all you end up with at the end of the story is a mortgage. And on a 15-year fixed rate, and you're going to walk your way right through that.